the run, which is the third tune on album. Third proper tune, four. Fourth in track listing. Yeah, it's track four, but it's the third proper tune. That's same again, not changed too much really. Just tweaked a few things. I think the same again, I think everyone liked this tune as well. From the beginning, it's like, it's a little bit oasis in, probably one of the rockiest ones. In our village, there's a band who, who we watch numerous times, like, one of them back each year when it gets to like New Year's Eve and stuff like that, we're pretty like traditional where we do certain things, like we get up Christmas morning and we go for a pint in, in working men's club and stuff like that. On Christmas Eve we used to go down to this other club in this village and watch this band, uh, and it's, it's just about the bass player out of that band, sadly, took his own life. Uh, they were a good friend of ours called Nicky, proper top top geezer. Yeah. Um, so just wrote it, not directly about him, but I think looking back, it was probably, I think a lot of it was aimed at that. One Christmas, we actually got up with the band's called The Earth Johnny, and me and Kieran got shout, shouted up from the crowd, and we played. Uh, she she sells so sanctuary. Yeah, by, by Colt, and that was a good memory of like, playing with Nicky and, and that, so that just, yeah. Good memories as well, like, but that's obviously what you wrote it about, right? so we made a conscious effort to make sure it sounds like when we're playing it live and it sounds massive in the studio, and I think that definitely comes through. Like Dave Erringer, who's produced it, done a, a, a mad job on that because he's just he's guitar driven, like, every amp on the tent, or yeah. 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 Basically, the way Dave works is yeah. gets it amp room, sets every amp up, mics them all up, and just does a mad kind of blend. Yeah. He's just, he's just a, a wizard. Cool. The drums, drum sound. It's just a mint producer. So I think this is the first time where we really took a conscious effort to slow tune down, the tune down, so it, it sounded bigger. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it has got a bit of that oasis vibe to it. But yeah, well, like the case of. Even though it feels I'll, slow I'll try my absolute time. best. <laughs> I'll, I'll play it. Yeah. I was like, naturally cautious, it'll go up about 10 BPM or so. So to you, <laughs> it, it will proper lag into Brandon, but like in the, in the bigger picture, once you once you get guitars on and everything, it, it sounds massive. It's probably one of my favourite tunes. It's, 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 I think that one is like, a, I wouldn't say it's instant, but it's like probably going to be like a fan favourite, like a drummer or I think people love that.